Okay, here we go. As you can see, Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Dragon Age The Veil Guard is an action role-playing video game developed by BioWare and published by Electronic Arts. It's the fourth major game in the Dragon Age franchise. The Veil Guard is the sequel to Dragon Age Inquisition 2014 and it's set 10 years after Inquisition. The game features new locations in the fictional world of Hades. It's kind of ironic that it is actually 10 years apart and in-game as well. Uh, Dragon Age The Veil Guard released for PlayStation 5, Windows and Xbox Series XS on October 21st, 2024. Okay, now I have played through the intro, so that's not new for me. But let's show you, uh, but before we start... I think it's on the other... Yep, the nudity off. So let's start a new game and see. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's got to stop him, and that's where you come in. Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> Okay, so it starts off where you can choose your race, lineage. And go to appearance. I'll get into that now. But your class, you've got your three. And then each one of them has a sub, uh, three subclasses as well. If you see there in the bottom, you can change your armor appearance. So that is like the top armor, what it's going to look like. It kind of spoils it that you already know. But there's like your vagabond starter clothes. And then that's like your casual wear. You know, this, these factions, they actually do have a little bit in the game, like if you run into Grey Wardens and you are a Grey Warden, then you might recognize some of them or know of them already. And some quests, if you like this faction, then you might have a different option or choice to like do something with someone. But also... There at the bottom, see, that's one of the big things is 
uh, deal increased damage versus dark spawn. So if you want to really do that, then Grey Warden is for you. And base defense and health are slightly increased. Veil jumpers, you can just read there what it says about them. I actually kind of like what their casual their casual wear looks like. Let's see, slightly increased critical and weak point damage. Like if you're a rogue, I probably would go for that. Increased damage versus fade touched. Uh, let's see, there's the Grey Warden casual. Shadow Dragons. Um, that's what their armor looks like. Top armor. Your class specific resource regenerates slightly faster. Lords of Fortune. I wish I would fit it all in one space, but anyways. Mercenaries, takedowns on enemies with slightly less effort. Back on targets. Undead and Demons. A Teven Crows. Holds an extra potion. Uh, let's just see quickly yeah, what they all, there's what they look like. I kind of like the shining of the blue. That looks pretty cool. I can't zoom out, so I can't see what their shoes look like. Okay, these three we've seen. Okay. Okay, so now I need to... Let's take a Grey Warden for this one. And the surname actually changes for some reason. Select this faction. Oh, uh, this is your difficulty. Balanced, so... There's your... Normal, it seems. Okay, so then you can choose your past adventures. So now you can choose what they look like as well. So you can choose whether they're elf, human, man, woman. Wolf or Kunari. Now this is the one disadvantage about what I have with like it being 10 years apart. I can't remember what my Inquisitor was or what happened exactly. Okay, let's make her Alvin female. See now you can work on her appearance as well. 
You can change the name, voice. I won't let this stand. I won't let. We need oh, to move. Sorry. It can't end like this. It can't end like this. Probably go for that voice. Okay, but Okay, so how do I get out of here now? No, I don't want to finalize. Okay, but I'll Work with the customization and then I will cut back here. Okay, so I'm basically choosing the Alvin preset. She looks pretty cool and okay, and I'll just go with the name and everything as well. Okay, so then here you can choose, either you can choose that had none. Okay, Cassandra is your Inquisitor had to be male. Got Cullen. I, says, I can't remember who I romanced. And I could have sworn Liliana or what wasn't she one of the like the leader of the crows from origins wasn't she one you could romance okay i'm taking josephine but who remembers iron bull <laughs> that's one character i remember from inquisition And you can choose if you disbanded it, the Inquisition. You can just pause and read there up top and they're disbanded. Or given to the Chantry. But I'm going to choose this band. And then you can choose how to stop Solus. Nope. Or vow to save him from himself. Let's go to vow to save him from himself. So, luckily then you can still change all these things. Okay, so... Um, I says I... Yes. Like, I want to be an elf. And I'll choose a female character. Now, I wanted to show you like makeup. This eye makeup can kind of be ridiculous. Okay, color intensity, we make it full. And let's go for a blackish.
and I just make this you can see it stand out um, and then you've even got glitter style now I have to admit I haven't seen the glitter like can you zoom in okay so I think it might be that over there yeah so it might be but it's just for me in saying that you can even choose glitter and whatever but there's a lot again You can go on the internet, there are people that's done videos of how to make good looking characters and stuff. And they, some, I've heard one say this is the hardest character creation thing they've ever worked with. There is a lot. Uh, you can also change your lighting if you want. I actually kind of like that one. But like I says, I'll fiddle around with this and then once my character is complete, I'll cut back into it. I did just want to show you... You can move it around like this or you can use the D-pad and then you get the presets of like that you can go through for all 30 of the faces. The body is the same. Um, you can choose, you can either choose that or that. This is probably better for when you want to see what your body looks like and stuff. And then the body shape is the same. Only that really irritates me is that it becomes white. It makes it really difficult to see finer details like abs and stuff like that. Okay, so I finished customization. And zoom in and out. So I've got those, some tattoos. And I chose that hair and color. I will say one thing that is pretty cool about the uh, tattoos and scars is for example see you can choose if you want center design left design or right design so that's how i only got it on one cheek is i just chose the left design so the right design is zero intensity and then you can choose the color as well and then the body tattoos got a few like it's got a few designs that you can choose off and see Uh, here is a little bit in the way, but there you can see. And I like that one on the arm especially, but once again, like you can choose if you want chest or back or stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. I don't have any scars and the paint is almost like the tattoos. Um, okay, there's face paint and then... There's the body paint, as you see, you can go crazy with that as well. Okay, so I'm going with Rogue. 
and I now understand how this works so I just quickly want to show you so there you can read what's happened with the backstory for the it's called shield against the night for the uh, sorry and then this is the one for the veil jumpers Oh, sorry. But I am sorry, I'm going for the pale jumpers. I'll maybe do another one with a Grey Warden. We've got the medium play style. I actually randomed and got Ivy, so I think I'm going to leave that. I like this voice. Well, we're not in trouble. You can change it to low. Let's move. Let's and move. You've got a second voice Let's as move. well. Let's move. That last says Let's move. I prefer this. Let's move. And in the past Inquisitor slices, I'm going to leave this as it is. The look. Uh, okay, so they took that away. Um, now let's keep that. Okay, I think they did keep the customization. All I customized was with body. No, they didn't keep it. I like tall, so... I won't let this stand. We need to move. We need to move! Okay... Let's just do this again. Uh, let's go for stop. I just want to um, there you can read about this about what happened with the Inquisition and everything I think that is everything for that You can change your appearance in game. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin with the seediest bar in town and the missing contact. Let's try this again. 
Where's Nebgalus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? I love that part. The serious bar it down. Okay, so here's first choice that you can make. Let's talk this out. It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know, it's it's the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. To Mad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you. They can always listen to Bianca. The friend of Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. Okay, so as you see the very casting that you like talking your way out of things and then you can choose this is a lot like Inquisition where that's like a sarcastic funny retort there's the more steady straightforward retort and the okay one <laughs> thumbs up one What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Okay, so here is probably one of the coolest things about Valgod so far for me. So I'll just see if this is it, but or if this is too far back. Okay, I had hoped it would load right back here with the question, but I'll, I cut out until we are here at the question again. So I'd like this one actually more. I just wanted to show you the other one. Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling. You're adorable.
Not enough gold in the world for this. Barrack, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatori cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumat Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. Okay, so as you see there, Varric has noted that you like action more than words. So that is, like I said, that's really impressive for me. It's like, that is a completely different scene. Um, and your choices look like they have more effect and it's just for me really interesting that they made a whole completely different scene and i'm going with the sarcastic <laughs> tort here do you say that but we do have nev's location now so don't get cocky come on harding will be worried all right break's over I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. So I'm here at the wardrobe. I have skipped. This video is going to be also one that's not very good for Dragon Age Valgard. So, Glycerus, I wanted to show you the start of it, how the character creation looked, and I say the best part for me so far is, is the difference in the choices you make, like how a whole scene is actually different. But then, for example, here, like, this is the sword you start with. Now, first of all, like, look there when you turn. It's like really jumpy and stuff. But this is now the one that you get with the bonus. And it kind of just looks like a piece of gold that's been formed into a blade. It You don't even have one for your dagger. But the big thing especially is, so you've got all these different armors that you can get. Now the sword actually works with this armor, but I see there, that is one thing that like really is a pet peeve of me is like you design this armor and the weapons and stuff and it's clipping right through. So this is the big one that you get, like the dragon armor. You might have seen it in other games, like Mass Effect's got like a spacesuit version of this. There's the... Now, that's the funny thing, is, is you can wear any of them, and this is more or less a knight's... And then this is the mage one. So 
Let's see here once again, clipping right through your mantle. And then once again, there's the bow. So, my big complaint with this would be that the weapon and the armors, some of them look good and they look good in the cutscenes, but the style they went for is just, it looks big, clunky, doesn't look like it fits. I've seen phones, phone games that have, is better looking than this. So I want to show you a video and a picture, an image. The video is from um, IGN. You'll see the watermark in it. Now, this was on the PS3, and it's two games back. And you can also see there what the armor looked like on there. And this is what we have now. So there where you have your wardrobe. You can change as well. And you can't change your race at all, but you can work with your appearance and stuff. But like, if you saw when I went in there, in that video that I just showed now, 
that is a kunari. But look at how the kunari looks now. It's ridiculous. I mean, just look at these kunaris. And remember, like, Iron Bull from... Inquisition as well. The Kunari is probably one of the things that looks the most ridiculous in this whole game. And I knew that I know they're going for a new look, but to me it looks childish and like I say the armor and stuff, the weapons look oversized, clunky, doesn't fit properly. And I know they were going for a new look, but it just doesn't look good, especially considering it's been 10 years. And then here is something else. It's like it's a completely, it's a different thing, but it's just to make a comparison. Like this is what Scooby-Doo looked like, and this is a new one. Completely, it's a different thing, but it's just to make a comparison. Like, this is what Scooby Doo looked like, and this is a new one. So I know it's not the only engine out there, but a lot of these games are boasting that they're using the Unreal Engine 5 and it's looking lifelike and stuff, and then they look like this and not very good. And then this is just another thing to show, like some of these skills, they look cool, but they look like overdone and like too big and not very smooth and slick. Like I'm not saying the skills aren't cool, but they just, like I said, they, they look like they from a phone's game, the games you fight on your phone. Like just look at how... Final Fantasy 16 looks and their skills and stuff. Well, I said this, this is not a real good endorsement for it. And I just wanted to show you the character creation and start of it. But like I said, if you want to see this series, then you can comment in the below and you can let me know if you what race what class male female gray warden all those things you can let me know what you want to see and if you want to see it so you can let me know in the comments or with likes and we'll see how it goes if i am going to make any more of these videos with it